Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more Mafia 2. We are playing Chapter 3, Enemy of the State. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. All right. The Great Bambino. The baseball player. I assume she's calling me. Maybe I'm him. And that's the whole purpose of this game. Is to find our identity as the greatest baseball player of all time. Billy Brown. What's he bitching about? The music. Get your car from Joe's garage. Ooh, should we repair it? Oh, for 61 bucks? Yeah, sure, why not? This way it looks nice. Nice and pretty. Don't want to speed. That wouldn't be safe. So, today is... This won't be going up the day of upload. Of, or the day that I've... Ugh, this won't be going up the day I'm recording. But, today is Thursday. And school was cancelled today due to um, snow. And Alex, who some of you guys might know... Um, from Draw My Thing and some other Minecraft videos and, uh, some funny moment videos. He's in a lot of my videos, actually. But, um, we, um, well, he Snapchatted me and told me that we don't have school tomorrow. And I didn't believe him, but I went on the website and I was like, oh my god, there isn't school. So I was kind of confused and I didn't know why since the, it stopped snowing, but I guess they're just too icy. So I guess that's why they canceled, but I thought we were going to get a, a delay, if anything, but I was definitely not expecting a closing. So, um, honestly, I wasn't really expecting to not have school today, because I woke up thinking, like, yeah, I have a feeling we're going to have school, but my feeling was wrong. <laughs> so, that is, um, that's how my day went. So, basically, I've just been playing video games today. And shoveling. But that didn't take all day. Alright, I gotta stop because I'm gonna miss my exit. Is this the exit? No. There's a speed limit on this bridge. I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even reached the speed limit. Wait, I get off here. Yep. Alright. Why do I still have this on? There's no cops. Ooh, that turn, though. Alright. So we're going to see Mr. Papalardo. Papalardio. I forget his first name. Alright, here we are. I'm here to do some hard labor. Windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Hold on just a sec. I'm just going to turn up my volume a little bit. There we go. Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. 
Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, man. Huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. I think the guy that plays him is the same guy that plays Joe. Because they sound the same. Except Derek's got more of a, uh, a grunge in his voice. Alright, what you need me to do? Fuck face. Ugh, follow me. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Ten bucks? That's a waste of money. Or a waste of time. I ain't, this isn't worth ten bucks, especially if I'm walking at this speed. Why do I got an enemy? There we go. Door is open. Leave where? Yeah, I don't want to be here. Screw it. Why is this guy an enemy over here? Oh. Wait, I know why, but I'm not going to say it. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. All right, Stevie. Show me what you need. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, yeah, go ahead. Now where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Pretty sketchy. Might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Oh, he's putting the Playboy magazine down. Hi, hey, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. i talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. 
The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got Ooh. it? Ooh. Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. All right, let's go beat the shit out of some people just because they don't want a haircut. Doesn't make sense, but I'm going to do it. All right, here's our first victim. I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah, I must have forgot or something. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. He was scared. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. All right. So here, here's the red guy over here. I guess we can't talk to him yet. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. I was just coming to pay. Actually, he's pretty good barber. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try, then, asshole? Ooh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get ready. There we go. Get some big swings in there. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Oh. There we go. Man, this, this guy thinks he's tough. Oh. Oh, the frickin' barrel got in the way. There we go. You're done. Oh, man, that was loud. Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Oh, damn. I didn't realize how loud I got. I was looking at the screen and it just went red. Sorry about that. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watch you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Hey, say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. All right. I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. All right. Looks like we're going down to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. All right. Here we go. Let's get in our car, which is in nice condition at the moment. Ooh, I was tempted to. I was tempted to, but I, I just wasn't feeling it. I, I don't, you know, she's she's cold, although I probably should have put her out of her misery, but I was feeling nice at the moment. I wouldn't do such a thing. 
I, I just want to get an idea of how far away this place is. For the map size, at least. But it won't take that long to get there. So. Oh! Oh, come on, dude. I had to pay 61 bucks for this. What that cop saw, you drove right into me. Ah, oh, man. So, uh, earlier today, uh, again, this isn't getting uploaded the same day, but, um, I, oh, I was going like 20 over the speed limit and I still didn't get pulled over, but, um, I uploaded a channel update video for, uh, to vote on a new series. There was, um, since I lost, um, well, I'll let you guys check out the video, but, um, that way you guys can vote. Um, so over there is a link to, um, two links, one for a new Minecraft creative series since I lost the save on the football stadium, and one for a new Let's Play, uh, series. So there's, like, I think eight options, seven or eight, something like that, for the, uh, new Let's Play. So I'd really appreciate if you guys check it out and vote. You can vote for more than one, um... So I'd really appreciate that. Just wanted to inform you guys for those who didn't watch the uh, channel update. And you guys don't have to watch the actual video, but um, if you want to know what happened, I'd, you know, you guys could check it out. But I, um, I would at least like you guys to vote, that's all. all right, here we are, Freddy Fazbear's. I would appreciate that very much so. There he is. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, we're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hiya, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth a the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I sent you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got be. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. All right, here we go. We're going to Maria Agnello's, Agnello's, Michelangelo. Wish we could listen to some music on the way, but we can't. Oh, cop. Oh, we're here already.
Miss Angelo, I'm here. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Rights Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're gonna be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. All right. Can I come in? Oh. Oh my god, my mouth is so dry. I'm so thirsty. But I'm not getting the drink right now. But it would have been nice if she invited me in for one. But I don't think that would help my reality self. All right, come on. Let's go. Oh, okay, all right, that go. works. I wish you could have done that a while deal, ago right? if you were going to do it. But. I've seen the way you kids oh. drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you got to get in through the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful. There's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Gotcha. I think I can do that. Oh. I beat the little... Whoa, what? That person just fall down? Oh my god. That guy needs to be sent back to boot camp. He was in the army. He just fell right on his ass. I guess I scared him with my horn. Can I just do that to anyone? Oh! Of course, he didn't see me there. Alright, good. drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. Let's see if she actually goes in or just stands there. Or just teleports. Alright, I'm glad you enjoyed your stay. <laughs> the sirens are on. <laughs> Oh, I, oh no. I thought I could go through that. Oh, well. oh shit, there's a gang after me. I gotta get out of here. This is stupid, so stupid. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Damn it. So dumb. Oh my god, are you kidding me?